morning everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the all new 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie with the Eco Diesel engine and this one's actually all set up to tow as you can see it's got the trailer mirrors. I know the Ram boxes don't have to do with towing but this is like the super utilitarian version of the Eco Diesel. Anyways, as always a big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the Laramie Eco Diesel. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for new Dodge or Ram, Jeep or Chrysler as well. Let's get into the video. Under the hood here we have the turbocharged V6 engine that's 3 liters, also known as the Eco Diesel, and it goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Now power outputs on this particular truck are 260 horsepower and then 480 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 29 on the highway. This one has 392 gears, so the towing capacity on it is right around 10,000 pounds with the uh, crew cab configuration. Yeah. Let's finish things up on the front end of the Laramie. Let's go to the hood first and foremost. We've got that Eco Diesel badging there on the side. You've got this nice like bulge in the center of the hood, which obviously you can add some Hardcore racing stripes right there. And then we've got the rest of the front ends. So you've got the full LED reflector lights right there. You've got LED accent lights that go around it. You've got the full chrome grill, fog lights down below, parking sensors in the front. And then you've got that area where the tow hooks can go. And other than that, here's one more look at the front end. Here's a side view of the Laramie Eco Diesel. Now going to the rims, we've got two 75 millimeter tires on 20 inch rims. Also in the rear, we've got the Ram logo, Eco Diesel logo I showed you. This one's got those cool trailing mirrors. So you can actually flip them up. So you just do that and then the mirror will flip right up, give you a bunch more visibility and then obviously flip it down. They are manual fold away. So you've got to, oh man. I need to start working out again, guys. You gotta muscle it in to get it in, but yeah. Other than that, those are the trailer mirrors. And then here's one more look at the side of it. You can see with the Ram boxes, which we'll get into those in a minute. But yeah, here's the side. Here's our key fob for the Ecodiesel 1500. You've got a couple functions. Your unlock, your lock, remote start, and tailgate release. If we press the remote start button twice, first time we'll lock it, second time we'll start it right up. It's pretty quiet, but you can kind of hear it. Press it again, and that'll shut it right off. This one has the tailgate release, so press that button twice. That'll drop down the tailgate. And you can see it's dampened, all that. Here's a look at the bed. This one's got the five foot seven bed, which you have to get a five seven bed if you want to get the Ram boxes. Now we can look at the rest of the bed here. Decent amount of space. You see the Ram boxes go over the wheel well, so they do make the bed a little bit more narrow. Now we can lift up the tailgate, super light. Easy to pop into place, and here's a look at the rear again. Now looking at this part of the rear, let's go over the emblem. So we got Laramie, the Ram logo, we got 4x4 parking sensors, we got dual alley exhaust, we got the receiver hitch, all your plugins for towing, the backup camera, and then you got the full LED lights, so the lights wrap around just like that. Super good. Um, you can get blind spot monitoring on the truck, and then that'll be housed in this little area. And now let's actually get into the Ram boxes. So we can see those on the side of the truck right here. Coming into the Ram boxes, they lock and unlock with the truck. You have the manual function for them. So you can see the truck's locked, so the box won't open. Now, if I actually unlock the truck and press the button, now I can open up the box, and you can see that we've got the little plug right there. You do have that if you want to drain it because you can put ice in these boxes. And yes, they do have a release because apparently someone is, well, I mean, I guess you, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but you do have a release if someone gets stuck in the uh, Ram boxes for some reason. And done. Now coming to the rear, here is the door panel in the rear of the Laramie. We've got this nice wood trim with the leather and the stitching, more leather down here with more stitching, suede inserts. What are the controls for the window? speaker for the sound system and then the seats are folded up for some reason so throwing the seat down we can look at the seat in the rear kind of like a full view of it again we've got these suede inserts on them rest of it is leather really nice really soft to the touch actually got the rubber floor mats all the way across they do have ice buckets underneath them for extra storage you've got this over here which is a couple charging stations you've got a full power outlet and then you can see the storage space under the seat so if i pick the seat up there's extra storage and they are reclining, so that little lever right there, that is to do the recline function on the seats. It is an option on the Laramies. Now one touch to lock it, and then to unlock it, you hand on the back of the door handle and it'll unlock. Now looking at the door panel here in the front, again, we've got the leather with the stitching, suede insert again, we've got the wood trim, again, more leather up top. Your memory seat controls are right there. Window controls, you've got the controls to adjust the mirrors. Another speaker for the sound system. And then here are the seats in the front. 
Now you can see it says Laramie here. Again, you got the suede all around with the leather. You've got your controls for the adjustments on the seats. Pedal layout just down below. Over here, you've got your parking brake, your power adjustable pedals. That is for the outlet in the back with the ram boxes. Your lights, fog lights, cargo light. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. And here's one more look at the front of the Laramie. Start the Laramie, put your front on the brake, push the push start. Take a second if it has to heat up and then everything will come to life, says Laramie. Windshield wipers went because it's uh, raining outside. So we've got the steering wheel here. And if we zoom in on that, we've got the Ram logo in the center. Over here, you've got our cruise controls, gear selector right there. That is your Bluetooth with the voice commands. That is for the center stack. So that will go over in a minute. And then you've got this nice stitching on the steering wheel, leather wrapped all the way around. That is the stock to flash the high beams, turn signal, and do the windshield wipers as well. Now we have our gauges right here. You've got your RPMs on the left side. On the right side, you've got this speed. And then you can scroll through all of these screens right here. Just give you different bits of information, just like all the other upgraded ramps. And whoa, whoa. Huh. It's just because the truck hasn't been driven. Don't worry, that's not the actual fuel economy of the truck. But yeah, a bunch of different screens that, uh, Give you some configuration on the Laramie Eco Diesel. Now I got our center stack right here, 12 volt up top. This has the 8.4 inch touchscreen. We can see that you've got the dual zone climate controls on the touchscreen. Heated and ventilated seats come with the Laramie. You do get a backup camera, which you can zoom in onto the receiver hitch with that backup camera. Comes with navigation, takes a second to load up, which that's actually pretty quick for a navigation. Most nav screens take forever to load up. But yeah, you can see all the navigation functions. Drag and drop with all of the rest of the stuff. Really good touchscreen to use, really easy, and I've never seen that button before, so let's see what this does. We're learning, learning with me. Well, that's loading up. You got your analog controls for the radio, analog controls for the dual zone climate. You've got the heated steering wheel, ventilated seat, heated seat controls. And then just down here, you've got your front parking sensors. You got your tow haul mode, your stability control, trailer brake controls are already integrated right here. So after all of that, I kind of found out that the uh, market thing, it, I have to have the services activated to use it. So we don't get to see it. Anyways, we've got our dial shifter right here, which you can shift through the gears with that. And then you got your two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then your true neutral. Now we've got the bench seat again, which you can open up this little center console part right there. You can thread a cable through in that area if you want. So you can use this little USB to charge stuff cup holders in the front and you can throw it up all the way see it as a bench seat and then we can open this up extra storage and there is actually storage in here as well so there's just a little latch you just press that button this pops open and then when you want to throw the seat back down this little loop right here grab it throw it and you're good to go i got a couple sets of glove boxes so we can open up both are lined with felt pretty nice setup there we can shut that and shut that we've got laramie on the top you got this nice stitching with the leather all around it up top here you can see that we've got the power rear siding window you've got your light controls up here universal garage door openers and then it is a lighter colored headliner here in the laramie eco diesel now wrapping things up on the interior of the laramie eco diesel i'm sure you are all wondering on pricing so this particular laramie 1500 eco diesel stickers for about sixty thousand dollars for any type of market adjustment which is in the same realm of all of the others like the lariat with their Power Stroke and then the Chevy with the Duramax and the LTZ package or the GMC as well. So it's pretty similar price to all of those. That all being said though, let's take this Laramie out, see how it drives. by visibility throughout the Laramie 1500 EQ diesel. Visibility over the hoods, just like all the other Rams. Visibility throughout these trailer mirrors is really good. So when you're just driving around, having them in this mode is nice. And then obviously flipping them up when you do tow a trailer. So it helps out with visibility there. See visibility throughout the other mirror. And then through the rear of the Laramie, just like all the other Rams. And I, I did it again. So park, let's set off. So initially setting off here in this Laramie Eco Diesel, let's talk about road noise and ride quality quickly because the most of this driving review, I wanna talk about the engine itself and just how it feels. 
Um, but in terms of road noise and ride quality, just like all the other Ram 1500s, you do get a little bit of extra sound from that diesel engine at lower um, RPMs and all that. It definitely makes a little bit more noise compared to the Hemi, but the Hemi's louder on the higher end of things. Turning here, steering, super light and effortless. And I kind of just like tapered off and didn't talk about ride quality. It is exceptionally smooth, just like all the other Rams. So nothing changes there. Um, but yeah, the steering feel, it's pretty direct, um, relative is what I would say. Um, it's right in the middle compared to most trucks. I mean, you can see me going through this roundabout right here and I mean, it's direct. It gets you right where you're going, but I mean, it's not like crazy sports car, truck, whatever, direct or anything like that. Now let's get into the engine. So this truck has the 392 gears. So this one's gonna be the peppiest off the line compared to most of the EQ diesels, and you'll see that with the acceleration. Um, but the low end torque, it makes you drive the truck differently. So like my Rebel that I had with the Hemi, I was kind of pushing into it a little bit more, whereas this, it has so much torque that I'm just kind of just like any other diesel truck, I drive it differently. I just, I'm always sitting in those lower RPMs and I'm not really needing to push the truck all that much. So it just, it's a different driving experience. Let's get a little acceleration here. Yeah, and with these 392 gears, that turbo lag is pretty much gone with the EcoDiesel. That, I've said this in all my EcoDiesel reviews, that was one of the worst parts of the past generation EcoDiesels. There's quite a bit of turbo lag, but I mean, you did get good fuel economy, whereas this still gets good fuel economy, but you don't get just massive amounts of turbo lag like the previous generation did. So it's a super, super solid setup with that. Now let's wrap things up on this 2020 EcoDiesel Laramie. What I'm gonna say is, if you're in the market for a luxury truck and you don't really tow all that much, all that often, you want something that gets better gas mileage and something that obviously can last a long time since the diesel engine, then this Laramie is gonna be the perfect truck to go for. It's just different than all the other trucks in the market. And if you do like doing a little bit of off-roading, that low end torque is gonna help out a ton on the off-road. And it's just everything about this truck, it is absolutely awesome. And I love the new EcoDiesel engine. And there we have it, everyone, the 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie Eco Diesel. Really cool truck. I like the packaging on this. Like I said, it's all set up for towing with this particular truck. That all being said, though, a big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo, Utah for providing us with the 1500 Eco Diesel. If you're in the market for a new Dodge Ram Jeep or Chrysler, check out their inventory in the link below. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. I'll see all of you in that next video.